Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to see my big gun workout. Well, they're not exactly big guns, but they're the toned arms that I have received after doing a little 10 minute arm workout just three times a week. Usually I do it Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays about every other day. And for those of you who don't know, I just turned 60 this year and they always say that as you get older, you just got to accept changes in your body and you will get the bat wings and all of that. Well, yes you will if you sit on the couch and do nothing, but with just a little bit of effort, you don't have to put your sleeveless tops away. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in having the best second half you can, then I hope you subscribe and click that little bell. That way you'll be notified of my future videos. We do youthing, skincare, makeup, and exercise. Okay, let's get to this. And in terms of the weight size, I use a 10 pound weight. However, I started with the five pound years ago and then worked up to eight and now I'm at the 10 pound, which is just fine for me. Even if you're just at three pounds, it doesn't matter. Just grab yourself some weights and get ready to work out those arms. Now the little workout that I do is only four exercises and it's really very simple, but I will tell you, you need to really watch your form. It's very important. Always when you're lifting weights, it's important to keep your knees slightly bent because that takes the pressure off your lower back. And then every time you exert your muscles or stress your muscles, you're going to breathe out as follows. The first exercise is a bicep exercise, and so it's going to work those biceps, and that's what gives you the big guns too. And we're just going to do three sets of 10 or 12, I do 12, and so I'll just show you one set to show you how it works. Now keep your elbows in closer to your body, and use a slow controlled motion. You don't want to jerk, because then you're just jerking, you're not using those muscles. I think we're on four, five. And if you want to change it up, you can move out to the side here, like this. I tend to go one this way and one this way because that works the muscle in a slightly different way. I don't know where I am in my count, but again, I do 12. And you can rest between sets if you want, but I tend not to do that anymore. I tend to just go right through. And so basically I end up doing 36 of the biceps. Now the second exercise I'm going to show you works the deltoids and these are these shoulder cap muscles here. And ladies, even in the winter, it's important to keep doing your arm exercises. We tend to forget them maybe a little bit in the winter because we're not going sleeveless, but we always need this good shoulder support. And this is good for your future. It helps your shoulders in the future as you get more grown up in terms of health but it also helps you have that wonderful kind of triangular hourglass look. And even in sweaters in the winter, that is a beautiful look to have well-developed delts. So let me show you a fantastic exercise that will give you gorgeous delts and a great triangle. Okay, you basically start with the weight down here and again, bend your knees. You're going to do three sets of 12. I was going a little fast there. Keep your arms in close to your body and try to bring your arms out straight at the top if you possibly can. And you're going to exhale on exertion. And again, you do three sets of 12. Now the last two exercises really work the triceps and keep you from double waving. That's what gives you that wonderful sleek look to your arms instead of the feeling that you want to cover up and run. And so basically you just take your weights and then you're going to bend your knees again and you're just going to kick back but keep your elbows in close to your sides. Keep your abs in. Eleven, twelve, and again you do three sets of twelve. Now my last exercise is a tricep blaster and it is phenomenal and you only need one weight for that. You're going to take your weight and put it above your head and you're going to keep your elbows very close in to your head. Bend your knees. And another thing I like to do, a little trick that I have that I got from Arnold Schwarzenegger, is that when you're doing these exercises, 
you're usually not talking and you're usually not doing a YouTube video, but I'm just imagining my arms surrounded in white light and I'm seeing them as how I want them to end up. I'm seeing the bat wings as gone. I'm seeing nice, tight toned, slender arms. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, even though he got kind of weird in midlife, he really accomplished a lot in his life. And so I really listen to what he has to say, especially when it comes to bodybuilding. And I think I'm long past 12. Whew. <sighs> that really, <laughs> that really works you out. Well, that was my 10 minute arm workout. And again, I only do it three times a week. So it's very, very quick. Another thing you need to do though, is get some aerobics into your life. Basically, I have an elliptical in the basement and maybe about three times a week. I'll watch some YouTube videos while I'm on that elliptical for about 20 minutes. You can do the same with the treadmill. You can go out walking. In fact, probably going outside to walk is the best exercise you could do. Now, normally when I'm in my makeup room, I'll give you a little thought for the day and I don't have my cards out here and I'm standing up, but let me tell you my thought for the day because it's something that I've been thinking about. The purpose of my channel is to help all of us have a better second half, better than we did in the first half. And a lot of people say, you know, is that possible because we do get wrinkles, we do get sacks and bags, we don't look as good and really our health can go down. Well, I was trying to think how I could be the best service to all of you and to myself. And I am realizing more and more and more that if we want a youth pill, if we want a stay in the game pill, if we want an energy pill, a non-depression pill, the answer is exercise and eating right and following general health practices that really do ensure that we're going to be healthy as we get older. And after thinking about it, I've realized that for all of us to have a better second half, the best thing we can do is concentrate on diet and exercise eating those things that are good for us, drinking lots of water, and also exercising on a regular basis. Now, I will tell you, I have a workout, which is really a non-workout, because I am not going to go and spend an hour a day in my little exercise room in the basement, or I'm not going to go to the Y. I just know that I won't do that. Once in a while, I'll do a 20-minute exercise tape, and I do have another video that I did about a year ago that I'll link below. But even doing those exercise videos gets to be a little difficult sometimes. So I have a wonderful way that I get exercise all throughout the day and I call it my non-workout workout. And in fact, my son has a wheel company and he's got some patents. And if I could patent this, I would because I think it is a revolutionarily good idea. And I'm going to keep it to myself for a minute because it's in one of my future videos. So if you're not a subscriber and you are interested in hearing how to get a pretty good body for 60 years old without really going through an hour a day workout or something like that, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell because I will tell you my almost patentable non-exercise exercise secret. And if I could give you any thought for the day without the help of my Louise Hay cards that I usually use, it would be this. You are as young as you feel. I'm 60 years young and going strong and whatever age you are, you're going strong too. Take care. See you next time.